Hi, welcome to my channel. One of the most important functional elements in highly automated machines and plants, are controlled drives, which function as actuators, and whose motion sequence, is determined by a control system. The ID control is generally required, when controlling the angular position of an AC drive, because it has a second order transfer function in the following form. An ideal PID controller has this transfer function. The KC is the proportional gain, tau I is the integral time constant, and tau D is the derivative gain. We rewrite the PID controller given above, into this transfer function form. By comparing both controller forms, we have this relationships. In the design, the first step is to find the parameters in the second form then convert them into the PID controller parameters, required in the realization stage. The polyassignment controller design technique, is used here to find the PID controller parameters C2, C1 and C0. Closed loop transfer function, with the PID controller, and the dynamic transfer function model, is. Note that the closed loop polynomial, which is the denominator of the transfer function above, is of a third order. In the design of a pole assignment controller, we will choose three desired closed loop poles for the closed loop performance specification. A pair of dominant desired closed loop poles are selected as a zeta equals 0 0.707, and the fast pole is then chosen to be. With this specification, the parameter omega n is approximately the bandwidth of the desired closed loop system. This leads to the desired closed loop polynomial as equaling the desired closed loop polynomial to the actual closed loop polynomial, and as the result, the following polynomial equality is obtained. By comparing the coefficients from both sides and setting them to be equal, the controller parameters are found as. Accordingly, the PID controller parameters are found for the position control of the outer loop system. This is the general form of the PID controller software realization. The implementation of the PID controller for position control, it is almost without exception that the implementation of the derivative term should be directly on the output signal to avoid the situation of derivative kick due to step reference signal changes on the position. This is because the derivative of a step signal is infinity at the time of change, and the derivative action from the reference signal will lead to a large amplitude in the control signal that could cause problems. Therefore, the control signal UDT from the derivative term is in the AC drive control, the derivative of the output, that mean the angular position, is the angular velocity that is directly available for implementation. Additionally, the proportional control KC can also be implemented on the output only, to avoid an overshoot in the reference response as seen in the last video. Thus, the PID control signal UT is calculated using this equation. Here is a simple software loop that implements a PID general algorithm. This figure shows a cascade feedback control structure, which represents the control systems used in electrical drives. There is always a primary control objective, combined with a secondary control objective, when deploying a cascade control system structure. For the electrical drives, the primary objective could be to control an AC motor's angle velocity. However, the secondary objective is to regulate the current flow. All industrial AC drives for velocity and position control use a PI cascade control structure. The key to the success of the cascade PI control systems for these applications lies in the large difference between the time constants of the secondary plant and the primary plant. For instance, the response time of the current is much faster than that of a motor's velocity. Design of the cascade control system begins with the secondary controller for the inner loop system. In principle, the inner loop current controller can be either a proportional controller or a PI controller. Bandwidth of the inner loop control system is selected to be sufficiently large so that its dynamics can be neglected when designing the primary controller. Vector control, also called field-oriented control, FOC, is a variable frequency drive control method. FOC is used to control AC synchronous and induction motors. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel.
Also in Facebook and Twitter, you find a very helpful and interesting topics.